So we had, you know, these horrible things that racism caused back in the day. So Tatum's, right now, it still exists. Um, it's not very populated. It doesn't have any stores or anything. And there's th uh, 12 other historically black towns that exist in the state of Oklahoma, okay? So these towns were made possible and they are, are in existence because of the relationship between Native Americans and African Americans. Now keep in mind, when we talk about slavery, okay, it doesn't mean that all white people had slaves or all white people were racist. It doesn't mean that all Native Americans had slaves or that they were racist, okay? But this is our history, all right? We cannot be ashamed and embarrassed by our history, okay? In fact, in order to fulfill your dreams, you must first pursue your purpose. Who knows what that purpose is in life already? Raise your hand if you know what your purpose is in life already. Raise your hand if you want me to tell you how to figure that out very quickly. Okay, so here's the answer. When you learn about yourself, like I did, for a long time I didn't know I was chicken soft. Even being from a black town, I didn't know why it was a black town. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know the importance of it, okay? But as soon as I began to learn, I began to unlock my purpose, okay? So, you need to know where your ancestors are from, all right? I'm talking about as far back as you can go. Raise your hand if you know one of your great grandparents. You got grandma and then you got grandma's mom and dad, or your grandfather's or mom's mom's grandmother. How about a great great grandparent? If you know a great great grandparent and they're still alive and they can speak to you and they're still coherent, they got a good mind, you need to get with them as soon as possible and ask them as much as you can about where they come from. You understand? Raise your hand if you ever heard of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. He passed away, right? Mm -hmm. Do you guys know that his homeboys and his best friends that were in the civil rights movement with him, a lot of them are still alive today? That's who gave me the key to the city of Lawton, Mr. Andrew Young. In fact, I saw him back in February, and guess what happened this time when I saw him? gave me the key to Oklahoma City. He was one of Dr. King's chief lieutenants during the Civil Rights Movement. Okay? He's still alive. Sometimes when we study history, we don't realize how close history was. You understand? Sometimes it wasn't just a long, super long time ago. All right? And that's why it's probably easier than you guys know to find out this stuff about yourself, okay? Find out where you come from, who your ancestors were, where, where they were at, because guess what? Even years ago, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, they were working towards something, okay? They were fighting for something. And that something was for you guys that came in the future, their generations to come behind them, they were fighting for you guys to be able to survive, all right? And it's a whole lot easier to survive nowadays because of all the technology that we have and the air conditioning and microwaves and stuff like that, okay? So, I know you guys know how to Google, right? Mm -hmm. I don't need to spell it, do I? No. Yes. Get on your Googles. Go to your Googles. I say it with the S on the end, okay? <laughs> do your Googles. All right, soon as you hear that you're, maybe, you might hear that you're Cherokee. Go look up Cherokee. Look up the Cherokee Nation. Okay, I'm a dual citizen, meaning I'm a U.S. citizen and I'm a Chickasaw citizen. The Chickasaw Nation is a nation that's within Oklahoma. All right? Anybody heard about the government shutdown? Yes. Well, guess what happened when the government shut down? The Chickasaw government still operating. You know what I mean? So it's important to know who you are, what you belong to, okay? You probably have some benefits there. Like this t-shirt I got, or this polo. Chickasaw Senior Golf Academy. I don't play golf, but I began working with the Chickasaw Nation, and I got a pretty clean Nike shirt. 
You know what I mean? Okay? So, um, we must embrace our history, okay, in order to rectify it. That means anything that you might not, might not like, how much time we got? About five minutes. Anything that you might not like about our history, we can't change that if we don't know it or if we don't know what happened. Okay, and it's important to remember what happened or to learn what happened in order to keep that from happening again. Who heard of Black Lives Matter? Okay? Some of that stuff people feel like, oh, that's negative or they're racist, they're separating themselves. If you don't understand what happened, you won't understand why we have these types of groups. Okay? So, the number one thing that you need to leave here knowing today is that you need to know and learn as much as you can about yourself. That way, you can teach the next person who doesn't look like you about yourself, and they can teach you about them. That way we're not just going off of these stereotypes or these perceptions or the way they're portraying a certain a group of people on television, okay? If we begin to learn and know the truth about one another, we can end racism fairly easy, okay? And to God, let you guys know a little thing, they're not, and this is not your teacher's fault, okay? But they're not going to teach you the truth about what you need to know about history in school. The great thing is you guys got Googles. I didn't have Google. So I started to learn everything that I'm talking about. I started to learn this stuff in my 20s, okay? I started to learn it in my 20s. By that time, I was making mixtapes, performing, opening up for Gucci Mane or Lil Boosie and stuff like that. But that wasn't really my purpose. It was just a smaller part of a bigger purpose for me. And the bigger purpose for me was becoming the mayor of Taylor, or being the young black mayor of all of the black towns, okay? And coming into schools and teaching that history, which is still cool because, you know, I still got videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Like she said, look like a rapper. Mm -hmm. I think it's fairly cool to look like a rapper but be a mayor mm -hmm. because then you guys know that not only the rapping and the, and the, and the uh, floss and the shoot is <laughs> the cool stuff. Being a mayor is cool stuff. Being the student body president is cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't do that, you will never be able to affect the future or to change the things you don't like about our society. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? Any questions? Um, I think I might have a second to read, read a poem for you guys real quick. Mm -hmm. And I got some books for you, some history books. Yes. So, I always was writing rap songs, but then I realized I could write books too. Okay, so writing is writing. Whether you're recording it on wax or if you're writing it in a book, okay? These are my books. I'm gonna read this poem I have in this book called Black Towns real quick, okay? Yeah, that's me on the phone. Okay. This is called Black Town because I know my history, so obviously I don't wanna rap it just about what everybody else is rapping about. I don't wanna write about that. I want to write about what's real and what I need people to know about me, okay? Black Town. Black Town, White Town. Your town, my town. A town where people divide the odds. The people established this town for a cause. A response, a leap, a, a risk, a reaction. A town that is now a tourist attraction. It rose, it fell, but will be restored. A town today that means even more. It stands, it sits, will open the doors with life and liberty, but with no stores. A mill, hotel, post office, garage. My vision, illusion, may be a mirage. A town, a haven, a black community. A symbol of unity and opportunity. A town where education was offered each day. A town where our kids can be safe and play. Without racism or police brutality. No systematic, oppressive reality. A town I may give my life to save. Where we are free, so we behave. No violence, no crime. 